My name is Casey Hine and I truly believe there has never been a better time to be a dental care provider than today. Since I graduated in 1974, I stand in awe of the evolution of our profession and what we have achieved. During this 30-year time span, I have watched a parade of innovative products from the most basic profiangle to some of the most sophisticated chair-side technologies change the way we practice dentistry. Now some of these advances have impacted the profession of dentistry more than others. Today I'd like to talk to you about a product that I believe has the potential to have a significant impact on the profession and that is Oracix. Oracix is a non-injectable anesthetic indicated for adults who require local anesthesia in periodontal pockets for scaling and or root planing. One of the most important procedures clinicians perform is scaling and root planing, often referred to as periodontal debridement. We all realize that this procedure is highly technique sensitive and we have a responsibility to perfect our technique in order to achieve thorough removal of deposits. Simultaneously, however, we have a responsibility to ensure that our patients are comfortable during those procedures. Up until now, the only FDA-approved product that we could offer our patients was injectable anesthetic. With the advent of Oracix, we now have an alternative to injection anesthesia, which has been widely received by both clinicians and their patients. With that backdrop, I'd like to share a little information about Oracix and its role in an enhanced therapeutic approach to non-surgical periodontal treatment, specifically its use in one-stage periodontal debridement. In addition, we will have an opportunity to hear from clinicians and their patients about their experiences with Oracix. Oracix forms a non-injectable gel anesthetic that is indicated for adults who require local anesthesia in periodontal pockets during scaling and or root planing. The active ingredients of Oracix include 2.5% lidocaine and 2.5% prilocaine gel in a one-to-one -one ratio with synthetic poloxamers as thermosetting agents, in addition to hydrochloric acid and purified water. Together with the lidocaine and prilocaine, the poloxamers form a low viscosity fluid system at room temperature and an elastic gel in the periodontal pocket. Oracix should be kept at room temperature and when it is administered, it should be in a liquid state. An easy way to ensure it's still in a liquid state is to tip the cartridge. When Oracix is in a liquid state, the air bubble visible in the cartridge will move as you tip it. If gelation has occurred, the bubble will be stationary. To revert back to a liquid state, simply cool the cartridge by running it under cool water or by placing it in the refrigerator for a brief period of time. The Oracix gel is applied in its liquid form by using a specially designed blunt tip applicator. This thermosets to an elastic gel state within the periodontal pocket. Gelation occurs at body temperature followed by release of the lidocaine and prilocaine. A 30-second onset allows clinicians to begin instrumentation right away. Waiting longer does not enhance the anesthetic effect. The average duration of Oracix is approximately 20 minutes, typically enough time to treat multiple teeth. Plus, Oracix is site-specific. This, coupled with its abbreviated period of anesthetic effect, eliminates residual post-operative numbness. Typically, one cartridge of Oracix or less will be sufficient for one quadrant, but the range is one quarter to two and a half cartridges per quadrant. Up to eight grams of Oracix was well tolerated in efficacy and safety studies, establishing the maximum recommended dosage of five cartridges per session.
In my opinion, Aura Kicks is an essential component of the instrument setup for non-surgical periodontal treatment. Assembling the Aura Kicks dispenser is simple. To begin the assembly, remove the plastic cover from the cartridge penetrating end of the cannula. Attach the blunt tip applicator to the tip of the dispenser. The cartridge may be loaded into the tip or the body of the dispenser. Reset the internal ratchet mechanism. This is accomplished by resetting the mechanism reset button towards the back end of the body. Carefully assemble the body and tip of the dispenser with the cartridge in place. Holding the dispenser in front of you, rotate the tip sleeve section until tightened and locked in place. To improve access to the periodontal pocket, bend the applicator tip using the cap. If a bend greater than 45 degrees is desired, a double bend technique is recommended. Orkix is effectively applied in moderate to deep pockets as demonstrated here on tooth number three, which has a six millimeter pocket depth. Apply Aura Kicks around the gingival margin of the teeth you have selected using the blunt tip applicator included in the package. Pause for 30 seconds before subgingival application. Then go back and fill the periodontal pockets with Aura Kicks until the gel becomes visible around the gingival margin. In order to achieve anesthesia to the depth of the pocket, skillfully walk the blunt tip applicator around the base of the pocket. Pause 30 seconds before beginning instrumentation. It is important to note that the water spray from ultrasonics will not wash away the anesthetic effect. What we are observing is the application of Aura Kicks on tooth number four with a five millimeter pocket. First is the application to the marginal gingiva. Pause for 30 seconds before subgingival application. Insert the cannula to the base of the pocket and dispense or kicks. After the 30 second onset, the area can be rinsed prior to instrumentation if so desired. As you can see here, thorough instrumentation is very possible with or kicks. In some patients with heavy calculus, it may be necessary to apply Aura Kicks in two stages. The heavy calculus on these teeth makes subgingival application of Aura Kicks into the periodontal pockets very difficult. In these situations, remove the heavy supragingival calculus to allow entry into the subgingival space. Removing the heavy supragingival calculus allowed the clinician subgingival access to place Aura Kicks into the periodontal pocket. Pause 30 seconds before beginning instrumentation. As you can see here, a two-stage application of Aura Kicks on a patient with heavy calculus allows for very thorough instrumentation. Typically, Aura Kicks provides adequate comfort to adult patients during anesthesia in the periodontal pockets during scaling and root planing procedures. However, in clinical trials, a limited number of patients required an injection of anesthetic in addition to Aura Kicks. Preparing the Aura Kicks dispenser for the next patient is very simple. To disassemble, rotate the tip sleeve section and remove the empty cartridge and then dispose of the cartridge and the blunt tip applicator in an infectious waste container for sharps. If necessary, wipe the surface of the dispenser to remove any debris, blood, or saliva that may be present and disinfect the surfaces of the device. Place the tip and the body into an appropriately sized autoclave bag that is well sealed.
autoclave the tip in the body at 134 degrees centigrade for 12 minutes at a minimum pressure of 210. With the new research, the evidence-based research that's come out, you almost have to do full mouth scaling and root planing to get the results that you want to get. And really, Orkix has allowed us to really comply or put into effect the results of the new research. Dr. Bloom is referring to a one-stage approach to scaling and root planing, or periodontal reedment, which was born out of research published in 1995 by Dr. Corinan and his colleagues. The premise behind Corinan's full mouth or one-stage approach is that the oral pharyngeal area is an open growth system, that periodontal pockets are the preferred habitat for certain organisms, and that there is proof that periodontal pathogens translocate. Therefore, untreated pockets jeopardize the healing of recently instrumented sites with the conclusion that if full mouth instrumentation were performed at one stage, clinical outcomes could be significantly enhanced. Specifically, Corinan and his colleagues claimed it would be possible to reduce pocket depths by an additional 1.2 millimeters for single rooted and 0.9 millimeters for multi rooted teeth beyond what could be attained by scaling and root planing by quadrants. Corinan also claimed that if full mouth instrumentation were performed at one stage, it would be possible to pick up additional gains in clinical attachment of 1 millimeter for single rooted and 0.8 eight millimeters for multi-rooted teeth beyond what can be expected from scaling and root planing by quadrants. As noted by Dr. Bloom, for those dentists and hygienists who want to utilize a one-stage approach on patients who need anesthesia and do not want multiple injections, Orakix is an excellent option. Remember, the maximum dose of Orakix is five cartridges per session. Let's hear what clinicians and patients have to say about one-stage periodontal debridement. What do you think about um, us completing your mouth in one visit? I would rather have it done in one visit. Would you? Yes. Okay. With doing full mouth scaling and replaning with aura kicks, it cuts down on appointment time. There's not multiple visits. Otherwise, they would have to come back you know, two times or four times, it's inconvenient for them. It's more productive because patients, we don't have to wait for them to return for the other side. They don't have to come as often, they don't have to take off of work. Um, you know, people are busy in this day and age. They really don't like to come to the dentist. If they can come once and get it over with, with aura kicks, it's so much better for them. It's always better when you can get it done in one one shot, you know. Although more clinical trials are necessary to determine whether one stage treatment really makes a significant difference in clinical outcomes, the use of this treatment option is gaining popularity in practices that have adopted progressive disease management strategies, and patients' reception to this treatment option is extremely high. Initially, when I was uh, presented with doing full mouth uh, scaling and replanting in one stage. I had some reservations because I've always felt uncomfortable with a patient having local anesthesia in all four quadrants. This clinician's concerns are very legitimate. With the introduction of Orakix, this barrier to one stage scaling and replanting has effectively been eliminated. When I found out, discovered Orakix, um, it was just so much, so much more acceptable by my patients. Uh, actually, my patients prefer to get um, the entire procedure done and finished in one appointment. Janine brings up another important consideration, and that is patient preference. We're going to be discussing patient preference next, along with other factors in determining a patient's need for local anesthetic. The decision on what kind of oral anesthetic to use should be made at the assessment or diagnostic visit before treatment plans are presented and long before treatment is performed. This allows clinicians the opportunity to consider the unique needs of individual patients to formulate a care plan that ensures that the patient has control over the decision for anesthetic and the treatment experience will be successful.
In determining patients' unique needs for oral anesthesia, it is essential that clinicians consider a variety of factors. I wanted to check with you to make sure that um, your medical history is all the same and that there have not been any changes. Okay, okay. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same. Okay, did you test your blood sugars this morning? Yes, did. Okay, mm -hmm. and everything was fine? Everything's the same. Okay, when was the last time you had your HbA1c score? It was uh, about two months ago. Perhaps the most important consideration is patient's specific medical history and their current physical status. Evaluate the medical history for conditions that may limit local anesthetic options. For example, a history of cardiovascular disease may require you to work with reduced amounts of epinephrine. Orkix does not contain epinephrine and therefore is an appropriate anesthetic option for this type of patient. For certain special needs patients that may not tolerate an injection well, Orkix may be an excellent alternative. This includes geriatric populations like Alzheimer patients and nursing home residents or those patients whom are housebound. Other patients who may prefer Orakix include mentally and physically handicapped populations and terminally ill patients. Orakix is contraindicated in patients with a known hypersensitivity to local anesthetics of the amide type or to any other of Orakix's product components. Orakix should not be used in those patients with congenital or idiopathic methemoglobinemia. Orakix should only be used with a specially designed dispenser and not injected with standard dental syringes. Orakix can be used safely in combination with injectable anesthetics as long as the total dose of both local anesthetics does not exceed the lower of the two maximum doses for the individual agents. The pharmacokinetics of Orakix has not been studied in the pediatric population. Because lidocaine and possibly prilocaine are excreted in breast milk, caution should be exercised when considering the use of Orakix on women who are breastfeeding. Orakix has been designated a pregnancy category B drug and accordingly should be used during pregnancy only if the benefits outweigh the risks. It is also important to take into consideration the psychological attitude of individual patients. Patients may be anxious about dental treatment, specifically their fear of needles. Because of this fear, they may avoid receiving necessary dental treatment. Sometimes they hear horror stories from other patients that have had scaling and replaning, and you know, and, and they were really nervous when they got here. But then when we do the scaling and replaning, we use the aura kicks, they leave and they say, oh, is, is this it? The needle-free application of Orakix provides these patients a level of comfort without the discomforts of an injection. We want you to be comfortable today, okay? So we are going to be using a new type of anesthesia. Uh, it is different from the conventional local anesthesia that you're most familiar with mm -hmm. in a couple of ways. Uh, the first thing is, is I will not have to inject it. Okay. Oh, okay. What I'll be what I'll be doing is using a special applicator that I can apply it along the gum line. Okay? And then also just a little bit under the gum line so that you're numb only in the areas where we really need to focus and where we need to work today to get your gums healthy. All right. Okay. So you should inform your patients about potential side effects. The most common side effects are local reactions to the oral cavity. Some patients may experience lingering numbness at the application site. In considering what type of local anesthetic is best for a patient, it is prudent to bear in mind the extent of the treatment area. Is the treatment site localized as the case may be for retreatment of a periodontal pocket during periodontal maintenance procedures? Perhaps the treatment area is generalized as in the case of quadrant by quadrant scaling and root planing. Orakix is an excellent option in either of these treatment scenarios. Another important factor in assessing a patient's need for local anesthesia is to consider the extent of inflammation and the need for hemostasis. The question you need to ask is, will the amount of bleeding that is anticipated hinder instrumentation? If hemostasis is required, Supplemental infiltration with a vasoconstrictor containing anesthetic in conjunction with Orakix is a suggested approach. 
The length of treatment and the duration of anesthesia required for the procedure is also an essential consideration. Periodontal debridement typically does not require an extended duration of anesthesia or a kicks with an approximate 20 minute duration provides a workable duration that can be extended if needed with reapplication. The short duration of aura kicks also eliminates the prolonged numbness that many patients find undesirable. It has a 20 minute duration period. Did that seem long enough when I was working in sections through your mouth? Did yeah, it, did it no, keep no, you comfortable? No section, no section hurt. You know, it was, it was good timing. Okay. So what do providers and patients have to say about aura kicks? Patients love it. They can't believe that, you know, it was just this simple. You know, a lot of people's fears about coming to the dentist is, is it going to hurt? You know, you're going to have to give me a needle, quote unquote. And in the past, I would have to say, yeah. I would go with that the next time, too. It was, you know, it was very good. The patients love it. Pretty much, I really didn't feel Were you any very of it real. I was very satisfied. Very satisfied. Um, I, I have a lot of patients that, um, when I apply aura kicks and I'm able to do full mouth scaling and replaning in one visit, they're much happier than if I would have to have them return, you know, for multiple visits. So just as the patient is more relaxed, I'm also more relaxed because I don't have to jump up and down and run from room to room. And I do it again. You went. Yeah. They just feel so much better with the aura kicks than when we had to do, uh, in the old days, give them local anesthetic. Um, you know, I just feel more confident. I don't have to depend on the dentist. You know, the patient looks at me as a provider. Although a majority of states permit dental hygienists to administer aura kicks, you should check your own state regulations. I hope this introduction to Oracix has given you an idea of why I think it has made such an impact on our profession. The addition of Oracix to your periodontal instrumentation allows you to provide the kind of progressive periodontal care which prior to Oracix you may not have been comfortable recommending to your patients. On behalf of Dentsply Pharmaceutical, I want to thank you for taking this opportunity to learn about Oracix. Dentsply joins me in extending warmest wishes for your continued professional growth and your clinical success.